Have you heard the theory of the Titanic and the Federal Reserve? Well, here it goes. So on the Titanic, there's some extremely wealthy passengers like J.P. Morgan, John Rockefeller, and the Rothschilds. But then you have Jacob Astor, the wealthiest man in the world at the time. He owned about 40% of all mortgages, and he was a Freemason who was very opposed to the idea of a central bank. Whereas J.P. Morgan, Rockefeller, and Rothschild strongly supported the idea of a central bank. So Jacob Astor was the only one standing in the way of a central bank at the time. Coincidentally, the morning the Titanic was supposed to set sail, J.P. Morgan, some Rothschilds, and others quietly exited the ship without any explanation. Five days later, Titanic slams into an iceberg, and it starts to sink. And even though Jacob Astor is the wealthiest man in the world, he still can't find a seat in a lifeboat, and he ends up sinking with the ship. Shortly after, these guys become the wealthiest men in the world, and without Jacob Astor standing in their way, the next year in 1913, on Jekyll Island in Georgia, the Federal Reserve Act was signed into law, paving the way to print money out of thin air and completely control our monetary system. Was this a coincidence or a conspiracy?